Hey guys, Brock here, and I was going to be going over all of the limited weapons in Genshin Impact. They could be limited to chests, limited to a weapon banner, or even limited to NPC dialogues or events that were in the game from like event shops. So I'm going to start in that list with the exclusive chest items. For, for one, we got the Cool Steel. Uh, which you can obtain in chests, all, but also you can actually obtain this in wishing. So if you don't have this, you can still get it through wishing. Um, so that's not that big of a problem. Now the two that are pretty rare, depending on whether or not you decided to keep them, uh, me being a collector, I just wanted to give this warning out to everybody, including like, you know, people that are kind of like me that like to collect things. Um, the Traveler's Handy Sword, which is from Exquisite and Above Chests in Mondstadt, and also the Filet Blade, which is Exquisite and Above Chests in Liyue. So those are basically the two main swords that you can only get from chests, and once you get rid of them, it's going to be really hard to get it back. So just a fair warning for uh, those people. This is what they look like. Traveler's Handy Sword, which you can get pretty on, like early on in the game. And the Filet Blade, which is obviously kind of what inspired this video. Because once I found the Filet Blade, finally, again, um, I decided to pull for Kazuha. And luckily I got C1 Kazuha. So, that's pretty awesome. And now we're going to be going on to the Claymores here. So, we got the Waster Greatsword. But, this is just a level 1 greatsword, so you could get this if you pull a new, uh, a new Claymore character. This is what they're going to come with. They're going to come with the level 1 basic weapons, which are these five. Um, and then these ones are actually all purchasable from the blacksmith at any time. So, if you do happen to lose these, you can always buy them from the blacksmith. Uh, just to have your one copy of it. And so really the only two uh, greatswords that are exclusive to chests that you can't get if you don't have any exquisite or above chests is the Skyrider greatsword and the White Iron greatsword, which is right here. And I believe, I, I want to double check, but White Iron greatsword I believe is from Liyue. Let me just check that real quick. Um, actually, come to think of it, I think it is a Mondstadt one. And then that would make the Skyrider Greatsword the Leo one. I could be wrong on that. But... And you can show the Ascension appearance. And also just switch it up so you can see the difference between them. Uh, that's if you have it unlocked, though. The, yeah, this this is the Mondstadt weapon, never mind. White Iron Greatsword is definitely the Leoa weapon. Because I got this early on, I'm pretty sure. Um, so now we're going to move on to pull arms. The There's actually three exclusive pull arms, which is the White Tassel, the Black Tassel, and the Halberd. I think the Halberd looks freaking dope. It reminds me a lot of Dark Souls. Uh, that's why I kind of wanted to get that weapon as well. Um, so I have it now, and that's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing that I was going to mention is catalysts and bows. So the two catalysts that are exclusive to chests are the twin nephrite and the otherworldly story. Um, they're both exclusive, uh, and I believe actually the, all three pole arms are from Liyue. I'm fairly certain on that. I could be wrong, but the black tassel is definitely from Liyue. Yeah. And the white tassel is as well. Okay. Yeah, they should all be from Liyue. Um, I will definitely update the description down below or comment down below if it's wrong or if I'm wrong. Um, and then we're going to end it off with the bows, the messenger bow, and also the recurve bow. 
And so that wraps it up in terms of exclusive weapons from chests. And don't forget, once you open your last exquisite chest, you're pretty much going to really hurt yourself in terms of trying to get these weapons again if you're a collector. So, fair warning to all new players, and fair warning to people who haven't fully explored the game. If you need some help, you can always go to the Genshin Interactive map, the, uh, the IO map, and you can create an account, log into that, and mark some of the chests that you've opened. Um, I'm sure if you haven't done that before, there's probably a decent amount of luxurious and precious chests that you can still attain, so I would definitely recommend that if you haven't done that already. So now, in terms of weapons from banners that are exclusive to weapon banners, uh, we have the Memory of Dust, which is a 5-star weapon. Uh, it's going to be down here. I don't have it. This is like the, the Vortex series. There's, there's the Memory of Dust. Uh, we got the Unforged here. We got the Summit Shaper and the Vortex Vanquisher. And then for the Freedom Sworn set, uh, we got the obviously the Freedom Sworn Sword. We got the Song of Broken Pines. And also the Elegy for the End. And I believe there's probably going to be a Catalyst someday. But for now, that's the three weapons that we have for that... Uh, I think it's like the Millennial Movement weapons. Um, and then also we just had the Staff of Homa, which is, I guess, in its own class, I guess? I don't know. It could, I guess it could be considered to be the class with Wolf's Gravestone, but I'm not exactly sure. And then that also brings us down to uh, weapons that are exclusive to uh, Banner still. I don't know if they will be this time around, but the Wine and Song is exclusive to Weapon Banners. The Alley Hunter, which is down here. And then we also got the Alley Flash, which is a great slot weapon for Bennett. And finally, if we're going to go over the final thing with event weapons, that would be the Dodoko Tails, which was just recently available. The Wind Blue Mode, which was during the Mondstadt Festival. And the Festering Desire, which is actually not in here. Uh, for one, I don't have it because I didn't play the game then. And I also just don't have it. I don't know why it's not showing. I don't know if uh, if you do have the weapon, if it would show here. Because there's actually um, another weapon I wanted to mention a little bit that I'm going to show. That's actually not shown here at all. And you can only get it once. And after that, that's it. Uh, honorable mention would be uh, this sword right here. Sword of Dissension. This is actually a PlayStation exclusive, PlayStation Sony exclusive weapon. Um, and you can only play, uh, you can only get this weapon if you play on the PlayStation. This is your exclusive weapon. And it's actually not that bad, but you can't refine it, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, so that about wraps it up. Everything else is either the, the weapons that you see that I don't have are either battle pass weapons or they're craftable weapons. So that about wraps it up for those. And then we are going to take it back to this sword that I was talking about. So if you go to weapons here, you'll actually see that I just acquired it should be here somewhere. Here it is. The Dark Iron Sword, which I'm actually going to lock this up because you can only get one of them and you can actually, for some reason, you can refine it, but this is the only one that you can get. So no matter what, you can't refine this weapon. Uh, and it says, upon causing an overload, superconduct, electro charge, or an electro-infused swirl reaction, attack is increased by 20% for 12 seconds. That's actually... Not that bad. Um, for people that don't have this weapon, they might want to think about getting it just to test it on Kazuha, especially if they have Kazuha. So now I'm going to tell you how to get it. It's very simple. If you haven't done this already, you go up to Chen the Sharp. Why can't I? OK, there we go. <laughs> and then you click on the section, the second dialogue option here. How are the fish selling? Uh, he'll go through that, tell you how they're selling. Etc. Et 
And then after that, you would, if you hadn't done this already, which I just did, um, it would ask you to ask about the Guaha clan, or Guhua clan. And once you do that, he will gift you with the Dark Iron Sword. So that is probably one of the rarest weapons in the game, especially if you accidentally fed it to another weapon that you're building. Obviously, if you don't care about 3-star or below weapons, then you're fine. But for collectors like myself, we like to know about these things, so in case you don't want to make the same mistake, hopefully you don't. Um, and that, that about wraps it up for weapons in terms of their exclusivity. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.